Hi, Tesco here, and welcome back to another Let's Play of mine. Today we're playing, uh, yeah, we're playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Come on. Yeah, one turtle, I'm playing alone, because I have no friends. Uh, all the turtles in this game have, you know, they're the same, so it really doesn't matter. To my knowledge, so I'll just pick Michelangelo, my favorite one. Yeah, so this game was the home release version of the arcade version. It's a little archaic uh, compared to the, you know, the arcade game. So there are like uh, three types of attacks. You have the normal attack, which is you just press B. You have the jump and the jump attack, a dive kick. And then you also have the special attack, which is you, you like press the both of the a and B buttons almost at the same time and you fuck like this yeah and then you all the foot soldiers in one hit because it does four uh, damage and the foot soldiers have uh, four HP so you kind of you don't press them at the same time you kind of slide your finger from A to B and then you get this uh, you know the special attack so mostly what you want to do as an attack, you have, want to do the dive kick attack and then the, you know, the special attack that I'm doing right now. Yeah, there are also those uh, rolling stones or boulders, what do you call them? And there's a picture hut, you know, advertisement. <clears throat> yeah, you have, oh fuck. Yeah, you have these different kinds of soldiers, you have this... Uh, pink, is it? No, purple ones. They're like the basic ones. You have these. You saw those uh, dark blue ones. Those have knives and they can throw them at you. And these basic bitches can only, uh, you know, punch and do some kind of a jump attack. And the girls don't throw these. Sure, it can zap you. Let me see if I can solve it. Yeah, they throw those knives at you. Fuck. Yeah, I'll try to do a, you know, playthrough of me without dying. I should be able to do it. I've played this game as a kid so many times, so I should be able to do it. Now that I say it, I'm getting fucked beyond belief. Yeah, there we go. Get fucked, dude. Fuck. Yeah, I think in the arcade game you have more options. I have not played the arcade game at all. I've only played this version of the game. Yeah, I think in the arcade game they can get, you know, hit by those rolling boulders and shit like that. And here we are new enemies. The white foot shoulders with the... I, don't, I think that's a katana. Yeah. Yeah, so for your basic attack, just try to master the use of the, you know, the special attack. This one, the AB attack. I think it's called like a jump, jumping attack or something. I don't know. Because I know this is called the jump kick. This one. And here we have these. I think these are called Rodney Roadkills or something like that. Yeah, I tried to get them on the on the side and you can just smash them there. Oh no, okay, you don't want to go there, that's fine. Come on. Yeah, you can just smack them here, yeah. Fuck you! There you go. And now we're at the boss. First we have to defeat these losers here, there's April O'Neil. Yeah, then we have this machine gun dudes here. Only two of them. And now we have the boss! What we're gonna face? It is Rocksteady! Fuck. Oh my god, yeah. He's gonna shoot you, so... F you can kinda do like a stun lock when Rocksteady comes. 
you can start using the special attack. But I cannot do that. I saw some speedrunners do that. But I have no idea how to do that. So what I do is I'm going to use the uh, jumping attack. I kind of hover on front of him. So even if she shoots or kicks me, I'm safe. And then I'll try to aim for his uh, knees. Like that. And that's the boss. There we go. Hey, it's the shredder. Get here, bitch. And he kidnaps April and we have to go after him. And now we're on stage two or scene two. I don't know, are we filming a movie or something? I don't know. Yeah, I really like this game. It's one of my favorites on the NES. Come on. I think this is some kind of a... I don't know if it's a bug a feature or something, but you cannot have, you know, different colored foot soldiers. You can also use these environmental attacks. There's also this uh, water post, you can... If I can... Oh, I cannot do it, okay. But basically, you can hit that thing and it flies off and it kills the enemy. The same as this one. Yeah, so you cannot have, you know, different kinds of uh, colored foot soldiers. At the same time, I don't know if it's a limitation of the NES or something. Could be. And these guys can throw dynamite at you. Yeah, just try to watch out for the dynamite when it explodes and try to kick them in the ass. There we go. Fuck. Oh my god, come on now. Yeah, don't worry about your health. You have an pizza coming here. There you go. You're gonna fill your HP with that. Fuck. Come on. Oof, I'm getting fucked. Get over here. Yeah, now I'll take the pizza. Now there's this lady coming up. You can actually, you know, attack him. You get a point. So those points you have here, they are basically, well, you know, it's an arcade game, you have to have points. But basically when you get 200 points, you get a life or a, in this game's case, rest. It's basically a one-up. Here we have this banana suit fruit so fruit so yeah, the fruits, no. Uh, fruit soldiers, even though they're wearing banana suits, they're not fruits. Come on now. So when you get 200 of them, uh, the points, uh, you get a 1-up. Yeah, so you saw them, they have these boomerangs. Maybe they're from Australia, I don't know. Yeah, here we have this Pizza Hut sign, so watch out for them, they're gonna fall. And we have these ninja guys coming after us. Yeah, you can actually block the attacks with your own. You can, or... Oh. Come on. I think there's one more fight before the boss. Yeah, it's this one here. Yeah, I'm using a USB NES control. It's a little stiff, so it's kind of hard for me to do the uh, special attacks, so... Hmm, in your face. Yeah, we have, I think, three of these or four. Yeah, I think these are the last ones. Then we have the boss. Bebop. Fuck. Yeah, the same tactic as for Rocksteady. Just try to kick him in the knees. Hover in front of him. And try... Yeah, he can also... Yeah, punch. He can do the... I don't know what is that, the laser beam or something. And he can also start running after you. You should be fine. Just do this and you'll be fine. Yeah, all these bosses are pretty simple. Yeah, when the boss starts... Fuck. Yeah, when the boss starts to blink, it means it's low on HP. I think it's like... I don't know. It's not half, maybe... 70% or something. And when it's completely like almost 
think then it's, uh, you know, almost dead. Maybe two, three hits and it's done. Like so. One and two. There we go. Panadam. Into the sewers. Yeah, you can kind of see that they use the same, you know, enemies in each stage. Well, these are new ones, yeah. They have these mallets with them, they can... I don't know if I can showcase, but... Come on, hit me, yeah. They hit you with their hammers. MC hammer? No. Yeah. I think the best tactic is to just stay a little back and try not to get sworn by these enemies. And here we have the Mauser, so you just stay here in front of the K, you know, hole that they're coming from. Use the special attack, kill them in one hit, and you're good to go. Yeah, as you can see, they do not die in one hit, so we have to use the special attack to kill them. I think the Mausers have like 3 HP and the normal deck does 2, so that's why they stay alive. Yeah, I think I said, but the other foot soldiers have 4 HP, so they all die in one hit of the uh, special attack. If we have more, we have the samurai dudes. There we go, kick their asses, take names. Yeah, I was actually a huge Turtles fan when I was a kid. Fuck, now I'm fucking up with the special attack. There we go. Yeah, I like the, you know, the 80s, uh, you know, the animation series, which this game is based off of. I like that one. I watched that as a kid. Yeah, here are these rockets that come after you when you get in the water. That, that hit uh, hurts you, so I can yeah, get hit by that. Yeah, I also like the 2K3, is it the 2003 uh, animation series? I really like that one too. I think that's the one I watched the most. I mostly, the 80s, I had some VHS tapes and I saw them a couple times on TV. Uh, but otherwise I just played this game basically. Yeah, it's a little hard on this controller, because it's a little stiff. On the NES controller, I could do it all the time, because all the, you know, buttons are loose. Being a almost 40 year old, you know, controller and stuff like that, so yeah. And here we have the boss, the Baxter Stockman, the human form. Yeah, so the boss here, Baxter, doesn't attack you at all. The only thing that can hurt you are those Mausers on the uh, floor, so... Just focus your attack on Baxter and you should be good to go. So he spawns these, you know, after you kill a bunch of them, he spawns more. So what you could do with you could, you know... I could kill these guys, no, I get a life up now. Yeah, what you could do is, you know, farm these Mausers here. Try to get your life points up, but I don't think that's uh, necessary. I don't know what the maximum life points are. So I know you can get to a about... Yeah, I don't know. Is it five? Because there is a, you know, a Konami code that you can do to get like nine lives in this game. So I think that nine is the maximum. Here we have the Baxter Stockman, who was turned into a fly. And Shredder likes turtle soup for some reason, I don't know. Now this, sta this stage was a... Well, yeah, watch out for the ice falling from the sky. Yeah, this stage was, you know, a new added for the, uh, the NES version. This was not in the arcade version, uh, at least to my knowledge. There's, a, there's two stages that were added, this one and the later one. I think it's stage 6. That was not in the arcade version. 
Yeah, there are these, you know, I don't know, snow plowing trucks. I don't know what you call them, but just stay in either up here and you don't get hit. Yeah, if you, these are like, I think, like manholes. Basically, you just don't, if you fall on them, you lose one HP and that's it. And you have these fucking snowmen, they can shoot rockets at you. What I like to do is keep them in the uh, edge of the stage and just kick them when they're about to uh, jump. Then you have these guys who can throw snowballs at us. And I'm getting fucked. Yeah. Who put the lights out? Yeah, so don't uh, fall into the manholes there. I don't know why they would have these manholes, you know. Fuck. I don't know why they would have these manholes, you know, without the cover. Seems like, you, you know, really dangerous. Boom, boom, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da boom, boom, Getting fucked. Big time. Yeah, this is really fucking me over because I cannot do this special attack, you know, consistently. I think there's another truck coming here. Yeah, there we go. See you later. Again, these snowball things. This might be the stage where I actually <laughs> lose a life, but you know, I'll try my best not to lose any any lives. But here comes the snowman. Just come here, there you go. Yeah, so it takes like two picks for the snowman to die and then for the, you know, the robot that's inside. Try to hit the rocket. Oh, the rocket can hit me. That works too. That's fine. There you go. Yeah, I hate those snowmen. Here we have again these oh, ice balls. Fuck. Coming from the sky. Cracking your skulls. Yeah, I might actually, yeah, I might actually lose my life here. Fuck. Oh. Come on, don't do this to me, game. Fuck, okay. I lost a life. Well. And I was almost at the boss. Yeah, this is a new boss for the NES version. I think it's called Tora. Some kind of a fucking polar bear. Yeah, you can try to get him in this loop here. Yeah, sometimes he goes into the other direction. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, you can just stay in the back, hit him once. You can also do this as the same. Hit everybody else, try to hit him in the knees. He drops the ball and it doesn't actually hit you. There we go. I know you can hear the clacking of my controller, so sorry about that. I have a USB mic. It's a condenser mic, so it picks everything up. Even the neighbors. And there we go. That's the boss. But I don't Kick that weather ball. Yeah, I think the polar bear set up, you know, a machine to freeze New York, so... Spring is here! Actually, it's summer now, but okay. 
For the next stage, I think this is the part of the third stage still. It's like part two. Yeah, you can actually use these to you now kill the enemies. There's a lot of like, you know, environmental things you can use to defeat these enemies to actually like here. This is a, like a bomb, you punch it and it explodes. It's, you know, uh, a situational attack. You can use it, you know. I don't know when you would use it because sometimes they just don't go near that. You just have to... You have to stay there for like the... A... Like almost as it explodes, then you have to leave because otherwise the enemies don't go there because you're not near the fucking barrel at all. Yeah, why well, actually jump there? Because I thought this was the, you know, the the, uh, the car that actually moves. Because there's a part where two times a orange car moves and a blue car also moves. Yeah, it's like a trap, some or some sort. Yeah, let me try to hit those guys. No. Oh well, it didn't work. So, oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna use that if you want to. As you can see, it's not, it's not that, you know, reliable. Fuck. I'm getting fucked by these foot soldiers. Come on. I think this is the card that moves. Boom. There you go. And we have this. That doesn't really look like a shotgun. You know, a shotgun, you know, a machine gun to me. I don't know what that looked like. Like a flamethrower or something? I don't know. Boom. Yeah, I really like the music in this game. It's really nice. I think this is the second car. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Let me try to hit them now. Nice. Yeah, that, that's the only, you know, place where you could really use it. Uh, trigger the, the barrel, then the guys come out from the back of the truck, and then they get hit by the barrel. Fuck! Boom, there you go. I think this is the... Yeah, the boss is almost here. You did those... Uh, see those yellow doors there? That's where the boss likes to hang out. Boom! Here we have the Baxter Stockman. Fuck. I think there's a tactic like you can... You know, get under him. Do this attack. Like this. Like so, yeah, you can get him in this loop of, you know... Damaging him, fuck. Yeah, it's really hard to use the... You know, the special attacks sometimes. And now I'm doing it right. Nice. Yeah, you can get him in this, you know. Is this really called a stun lock? Maybe a loop or some kind, yeah. And we have saved April O'Neil from the Baxter Stockman. Now we got a kiss. Now there's this, uh, you know, this highway stage. There's another boss at the end of this, so it's just, you know, a gauntlet of enemies. I think there's some of these. No, it's not yet. Yeah, I have these new enemies with the spears. 
or javelins, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, this is gonna hurt in my finger now. I haven't played this game in like a couple of years. So I'm not used to doing this special attack. I might have a blister after this one, but <laughs> who cares? It's a good game, but I want to show it to you. Oh shit. Yeah, they can actually electrocute you. Yeah, with those, you know, that's whip they're taking out. That's the you're not yet act that can electrocute you if it hits. And here we have the dynamite brothers. Yeah, like if you don't want to use the, or don't know how to use the special, you can use just the, you know, jumping at that. That's almost good. Or it could be even better because you can space your attacks pretty much perfectly with that. I think there's a car coming now. Oh no. There we go. Fuck. Boom. Double kill. I think there's an out deck car is coming. Yeah, there we go. the fuck you have rockets yeah with these you actually want them to actually throw them first and then attack them so just use the jumping attacks for those because when you hit them they instantly drop the rocket and it hits you too yeah this is also a place where you can farm points you can just stay here wait for these you know biker dudes to come and just get your points here Get one more. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, but you can farm points here if you want to. I think two lives. We're gonna get a life soon. We're almost at 400, so... I think we'll be fine. Come on. The hammer bros again. Just kill them with the special attack, and there should be nothing to worry about. I think this is almost the end of the stage. Usually, those, you know, the line marks that ends for the highway. I don't know what do you call them. Oh, we get a rest. You can actually kick this or punch this back, those huge tires that they have there. What are those for? Like monster trucks or something? Fuck! Every time I start explaining, they fuck me up. Mmm, that's what you get, you bitch. Oh my god, fuck. No! Get off me! Yeah! And that's the end of the stage! I think this is the fourth stage? Yeah, now we get this, you know... Uh, scrolling stage. We have these uh, helicopters here, just use the uh, big attack for them. They can shoot these, you know... Uh, what do you call it? They're machine guns, and when you get, if you stay under them, they actually... Oh, I thought I was gonna do something else. Oh, but if you stay under them, they actually uh, drop these missiles at you. The shotgun... Why do I have to open the fucking shotgun, dude? So machine guns, Desco. Machine guns. Here we have the banana dudes. Making their uh, reappearance. Fuck. Boom! 
die, you helicopter. I'm not gonna get on the chopper. I don't need a chopper. I have my skateboard with me. This is actually a pretty easy stage. And that's the end of the stage, but we'll be able to find the Technodrome and the Shredder and beat the game. Find out next time on Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. And we're gonna die!